I'm Dan Wiggins, co-founder and head acoustics guy here at Periodic Audio. We get a lot of questions about our portable powerhouse, nickel. Typically about how the heck does something so small sound so big and powerful? Well today I'm going to do a deep technical dive into the amazing engineering that went into this little wonder. For those who may not know, nickel is the easiest to use, most portable audiophile amplifier on the market today. Simplicity in function, operation, and design results in a quality of experience unmatched in the market. We start with the enclosure of nickel. It's deceptively simple and small. It's about the size of a 9 volt battery and about half the weight. The enclosure is two pieces, a wraparound sides and rear, and a shell on the top, front, and bottom. Both pieces are molded from polycarbonate and are at least 2 millimeter thick at all points. Glued together, they form an incredibly durable yet lightweight enclosure for the magic inside. For those who may not know, polycarbonate is a thermoplastic polymer, better known as bulletproof glass. It's insanely durable, flows very well in the mold so it can take fine levels of detail, and it's just 40% of the density of aluminum. Yes, we could have done some machined aluminum, but it would triple the weight of the amp and significantly increase the cost. Remember, this is something you hide in a pocket. It's not a piece of jewelry. We put our money where it matters, and in the case of the enclosure, it's all about protection of what's inside and have as low a weight as possible. Polycarbonate simply is the best choice here. Next, we move to our user interface. There really isn't one. It's an amplifier with twin high retention force 3.5 millimeter jacks. You plug in your cell phone to the input 3.5 millimeter jack, you plug in a pair of headphones into the other jack, and it turns itself on. Unplug either, and it turns itself off. Simplicity itself. And those jacks are TRRS designs, meaning they'll pass through a microphone signal if your headphone is so equipped. There's a USB micro B connector for charging. Plug it in and it charges. Unplug, it stops. It works with any USB port on the other end, so any existing micro B cable you have will work. You don't need to use the short cable we include, but it's there if you need it. There are three LEDs all channeled into a single light pipe. The LEDs are green, yellow, red for battery level. Green when full, yellow when halfway, red when it's dangerously low. It's dark when off, lit when running, and flashes when it's charging. Absolute simplicity in the user interface. And we don't use pulse width modulation to set the intensity level because that can generate noise in the audio circuit. Instead, each LED has its own bias resistor to set the intensity output to be consistent illumination level across all three colors. Now that the outside's covered, let's talk about the inside the special stuff that makes nickel so amazing. All amplifiers really are is a modulated power supply. They use the input signal to modulate the power from the power supply into your headphones. So the heart of any amplifier is the power supply. And that's where we spent most of our efforts. The power supply starts with the battery charger. We use the Texas Instruments BQ25040 charger. This is a high current charger featuring exceptionally low noise and with full standby mode, so when we're not charging, it's not consuming any power. And anytime there is power present on the USB port, the charger will kick into action and charge the battery if needed. And about that battery, it's a 280 milliamp hour lithium polymer design with high current capacity and a very low ESR. It's a 1.5 C rated design, meaning it can discharge at a rate of up to 1.5 amps. It also means the 040 can charge it from completely dead to completely full in under 30 minutes. And it has enough energy to run a set of quality IEMs like our own products at dangerously loud SPL levels for more than eight hours. The battery feeds probably the most important component in nickel, the audio power supply circuit. Based on the Texas Instruments TPS65133, this circuit takes the battery voltage and creates a split rail of plus or minus 5 volts DC for exclusive use by the audio amplifier. It's fully regulated and can provide a quarter of an amp of current per rail continuous. We use shielded low ESR inductors, low ESR electrolytic caps, C0G ceramic filter caps, and careful layout to create a power supply with less than 3 microvolts of ripple. The power supply capacitors are of multiple values as well and distributed between the power supply circuit and the power supply inputs of the audio amplifier itself to create a fully balanced high current distributed cap bank. And by virtue of a true split power supply, we have a real ground. We do not need to run a virtual ground audio system or pull any other games that lead to higher distortion, higher noise, and reduced dynamics. This power feeds the second most important component in nickel, the new Texas Instruments INA1620. 
We were the first to use this chip in any commercial product and even had our production reel of parts before any of the big distributors like DigiKey, Newark, Mauser, and Future. This amplifier is capable of 140 milliamps of continuous output current. Using the 5 volt power rails ensures we can maximize the power delivery into a 32 ohm load for over 250 milliwatts of continuous, not peak, power output. It's also happy driving as low as an 8 ohm load, so those esoteric multi driver IEMs will be a natural for powering with nickel. Nickel's input presents a 10k ohm impedance to whatever the signal source is, meaning your phone or other device will have zero power demands on its output and will sound its absolute best. The input is AC coupled with a very large film cap, which provides a DC block to eliminate offsets from the source, but still provides bass extension nearly two octaves below the range of human hearing. The rest of the capacitors and resistors in the audio path are all extremely high quality components as well. We use a liberal dose of Caesar OG caps, exclusive use of 1% precision resistors, and carefully match all impedance pads so the amp has less than three microvolts of offset on the output. Combined with the split power supply, this allows us to DC couple the outputs for a massive damping factor and extreme bandwidth with low distortion. Careful selection of filter components in the audio path give a bandwidth from 8 Hz to 80 kHz with nearly unmeasurable distortion and noise. The last I see in nickel is the brains of the operation, the microchip 16F1503 microcontroller. This chip is responsible for deciding when to turn on or off any of the other ICs, which LED to engage, and provide general overall control and flow for the system. It's completely isolated from the analog world, even has its own layer on the PCB and its own ground plane. About the PCB, it's a four layer design with fully split and stitched ground planes. The bottom layer is for all the audio signals. The layer above that is the ground plane. Placing it there isolates everything else from the audio layer and provides the cleanest possible signal. The ground plane is spliced into three sections, audio, power, and digital, and these three sections have a single point connection. The next layer is the power layer. It's where we place the high current power supply traces. They're swathed in ground pores all around them to keep noise to an absolute minimum. Again, the same ground plane splits are used, and these ground pores for the power supply are also stitched to the other ground pores to provide a fully RF hardened design. The top layer is digital. It's where switch, LED, and control signals live. Anything that could have a high frequency component to its radiation in any way is up here, isolated by the ground and power layers. Stitching is critical. You can have too few or too many ground plane vias stitched the various layers together. We optimize the position via EMI and RFI simulation, then confirm with the strictest RF tests out there, using radiated noise levels 10 times that allowed by law. No noise, no interference, even when sitting right on your cell phone. To take it one step further, we put high current, low ESR RF chokes on every single input and output. These allow audio to flow and are an electrical brick wall for RF noise. And while we were at it, we added full ESD protection on all the jacks as well, rated to take a 32 kilovolt ESD discharge without a sweat. Nickel is the result of the combined talents of an amazing engineering team. All this design and expertise came together to create a unique product on the market, able to power through an entire day of music, but take a short break of just 30 minutes to recharge. And of course, you can listen at the same time as you charge because the TPS65133 creates the audio power supplies and eliminates all charging noise. Exceptionally wide bandwidth from 8 Hz to 80 kHz, DC coupled output for a damping factor over 100 for a 32 ohm load, a fixed 6.5 dB gain so that you get a good bump in output but still maintain almost all the volume adjustment of your smartphone. Total harmonic distortion plus noise is below 0.005%. Signal to noise is greater than 98 dB, crosstalk below minus 70 dB, and phase linearity is within 1 degree. All these values are measured at real-world levels, not maximum outputs or rigged to unrealistic scenarios. If we measured at peak output level, like most other amps and sources on the market, THD would be one-tenth of what it is now. Signal to noise would be 25 dB higher and crosstalk would be 20 dB lower. But you'll never listen continuously at that level, so why spec it? We spec at real-world levels, where you live, not where some googly-eyed engineer in the lab lives. Best of all, this performance is all controlled with the simplest user interface on the planet, housed in an incredibly durable and robust package, and completely immune to any legal, and most illegal, RF interference sources. And it's so small, there's never an excuse to be without it. So there you have it, nickel. 
It's not a jack of all trades, it's the absolute master of one. Be a real audio amplifier for your smartphone and create a truly high-end audio experience for your mobile music platform. Just $299 with our five-year warranty on parts and manufacturing defects, two years on the battery. The size of a nine volt battery and half the weight and better performance than just about any portable amplifier on the market at any price. Nickel. Power personified.